You may be familiar with the concept of the multiverse, which holds that there may be multiple universes in which you exist, but live different lives and make different decisions that lead to entirely different outcomes in each universe. But where did the concept of multiple universes come from? Today, we're going to discuss this idea in light of recent discoveries in physics and astronomy that may indicate the existence of a multiverse. As long as there has been a universe, space has been expanding ever since it came into existence 13.8 billion years ago, and it has continued to expand as far as we know. Our universe is a single expanding blob of space-time speckled with trillions of galaxies that now stretches 93 billion light years from edge to edge. It all began with the Big Bang, which expanded faster than the speed of light in a growth spurt called inflation. Our universe may be enormously large, but also finite, or it may be infinitely large, both scenarios are possible, however, if the universe is infinitely large, Mata can only organize itself in so many ways within it before having to repeat and arrange itself in similar ways, if the universe has no end, Mata may only be the home of parallel universes if that makes sense. Imagine a deck of cards. There are only so many ways the cards can be arranged, and if you shuffle the deck enough times, the cards will eventually repeat in an infinite universe. A parallel universe is a fictitious self-contained plane of existence that coexists with our own. It is sometimes referred to as an alternate universe, parallel dimension, or alternate reality. The term multiverse is frequently used to describe the whole of all possible parallel universes that make up reality. While all four names are largely interchangeable and can be used interchangeably, the term alternative universe slash reality occasionally carries a different meaning that suggests the reality is a variation of our own, with some overlap with the similarly called alternate history. Fiction has traditionally used myth, legend, and religious concepts to create alternative worlds. The alternative universes of Heaven, Hell, Olympus, and Valhalla are all distinct from the well-known material world. In Platonism, which holds that the upper reality is perfect and the lower earthly reality is an imperfect shadow of the heavenly, Plato deepened his reflection on the parallel realities. Although comparable, the lower reality has defects. Ancient Hindu mythology also contained the idea, expressing an unlimited number of universes, each with its own gods, in writings like the Puranas. In a story from the 1001 Nights, The Adventures of Bulukia, the protagonist Bulukia learns about other worlds or universes that are like his own yet still different from it. In Murray Leinster's Sidewise in Time, which replaces pieces of equivalent geographical regions in this universe with portions of alternate universes, this is one of the earliest examples of science fiction. According to the short story Sidewise in Time, traveling along latitude is similar to time travel, moving through the past, present, and future, while traveling along longitude is equivalent to traveling perpendicular to time and to other realities. This is similar to how you need both longitude and latitude coordinates to mark your location on Earth. Another common name for a parallel universe is another dimension, which comes from the idea that if time is the fourth dimension, an alternate reality is the fifth, a direction that is perpendicular to the fourth. A parallel world in modern literature can be loosely divided into two categories to allow for stories with elements that would typically contradict the rules of physics, and to serve as a starting point for science fiction, asking oneself what if turned out differently. A parallel universe, or more precisely, continued interaction between the parallel universe and our own, may be a major plot point or it may just be briefly mentioned before being quickly dropped, having served its intended function of establishing an unrestrained realm. For instance, Pratchett established the Discworld books in a parallel universe rather than our reality to enable magic on the disc, hence they seldom ever mention our world or any other worlds. This is also used to a lesser extent in the Chronicles of Narnia, where the main goal is to transport the protagonist from our reality to the setting of the books. However, the concept of parallel universes is only briefly mentioned in the introduction and conclusion. If a time traveler is able to alter the past, several universes may result from their journey. 
According to one interpretation, alternate histories created by time travel are not parallel universes, rather, only one history, or alternative history, may exist at any given time since alternative histories typically entail replacing the old chronology with a new one. As a result, switching between alternate histories requires turning the chronology back to its initial state. The aforementioned is not always the case, and another past doesn't always replace the original. Regarding this, there are no unbreakable laws. In movies like Avengers, Endgame and the 2009 Star Trek reboot, branching timelines are a common theme in contemporary theories of time travel. Technically, a timeline is still present if it isn't reported to have been deleted. Time travel can create parallel universes, which can be merely used as background information or as a major story component. A good example of the former is Harry Turtledo's novel The Guns of the South, in which the Confederate Army receives thousands of AK-47 rifles and wins the American Civil War, while a good example of the latter is Fritz Lieber's book The Big Time, which depicts a conflict between two alternate futures that manipulates history to produce a timeline that results in or realizes their own world. If a multiverse does exist, there would also be infinite copies of you. These alternate versions of you might be doing the same thing as you are right now, but some might be wearing different clothes and likely made drastically different career and life choices. The finite number of complexions of matter will also have to repeat that said. If the space-time beyond this distance is considered to be its own separate universe, then there would be a multitude of universes existing next to each other in a giant patchwork of universes, despite the idea of parallel universes. You might drive a Ford Fiesta in one world but drive a Ferrari in another, but how could this be possible because the observable universe extends only as far as light has traveled in 13.7 billion years since the Big Bang the double slit experiment is one of those renowned physics experiments that defies logic. No matter the type of wave, light, sound, water, Two narrow slits will cause interference patterns to appear on a screen, but since light is also a particle known as a photon, things start to get strange when you shoot a photon through them. It still produces an interference pattern as if the photon were passing through both slits simultaneously, but now things get even stranger just by observation. Parallel universes are one of those enticing and compelling theories that, from a physics perspective, is very difficult to test, if not impossible, but the concept of many worlds was first introduced in 1926 when physicist Irvine Schrodinger showed that the subatomic world is fundamentally blurry in our familiar human-scale reality. Your phone is on the table next to you because that's the only possible place for it to be, whether you're looking at it or not. However, in the quantum world, objects exist in a small state of probability and only come into focus when observed. This is because before you look at an object, whether it's an electron or an atom, it's not in any specific place. It might be more likely that you observe the object in one place or another, but it's not guaranteed. Hugh Everett III came up with a radical explanation for this phenomenon in 1957 while he was having a conversation with friends. Although it may sound crazy and even Einstein struggled with the idea of what happened to all the other possible locations where the object could have been and why should an object's behavior depend on whether or not someone was looking at it, someone was bound to come up with a radical explanation for this phenomenon. Our own universe might just be a small bubble in the vast sea of space that contains other bubble universes just like ours, according to the eternal inflation theory, which predicts that some areas of space will stop expanding while others will continue to do so. There is also the idea of brain worlds, which is a parallel universe that exists outside of our own and is based on string theory. The Big Bang left its mark on everything we observe today. There are significant events in time and space that leave their marks on the cosmos. Recently, the European Space Agency's Planck satellite mapped the cosmic microwave background, the primordial microwave radiation that fills the known universe. This remnant radiation is a perfect record of our universe from the moment it inflated and expanded. At first glance, the CMB appears to have a uniform temperature. 
One of them is that the collision between our universe and another bubble universe produced a frigid region. When it comes to our understanding of physics, black holes provide a significant conundrum because either they may destroy information, which goes against everything we know about quantum mechanics, or they disregard Einstein's theory of relativity. Now that the many-worlds interpretation has been developed, scientists are utilizing it to apply the many-worlds theory, also known as the Everettian, to the black hole information problem. Who knows, perhaps black holes have anything to do with parallel universes. We sincerely hope you found this movie entertaining. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let us know in the comments.